The Kern County Sheriff's Department has begun implementing sweeping changes required by an agreement with the California Department of Justice. One of those changes, fulfilling a promise made years ago. 17's Moses Small has this update on a 17 News investigation from last year. Moses. Thank you, Tammy. After years of investigation, the California Department of Justice accused the Sheriff's Office of violating the rights of the people of Kern County. Sheriff Donna Youngwood disputes that. He says his department follows the law. But there's one thing they agree on, that body-worn cameras could help build trust and ensure justice. So take a look. Kern County is notorious for having one of the nation's highest rates of officer-involved shootings. Two phone one calls. You may remember our investigative report from December, which found not all patrol deputies have body-worn cameras. Our Karen Waugh found the county's budget just couldn't provide for cameras in rural areas. Now, a landmark settlement between the state and the county requires the county to find the money. The state's Department of Justice sued the sheriff's office after a lengthy investigation, forcing the county to implement a five-year plan to limit the use of force and increase transparency. Body cameras are at the center of that plan. Uh, what they will do is look at our policies and make sure that we're following what we agreed that we would do. They're requiring body cameras for everyone in the organization which we supported. This comes as the sheriff says no one in the department has ever gotten away with violating a citizen's civil rights, while the Department of Justice says otherwise. How is this settlement going to solve the police brutality issues if the sheriff himself won't even admit that there's a problem. The sheriff's deputies shot over a dozen people last year, but only half of those shootings had body cam footage. Experts say body cameras make it easier to hold law enforcement accountable, but only when they're used the right way. A key challenge is specifying how the body cameras will be used. One possible solution is to implement a very clear activation policy. Some lawyers say body cameras alone won't eliminate excessive use of force. The community needs to be continuously engaged if you see something uh, inappropriate happen happening, you know, using your cell phone to document it. So at least there's a third party account. The five-year plan for the sheriff's office covers more than just body cameras. It also requires an independent monitor to look over the department's use of force. The KCSO also agreeing to publicize every officer-involved shooting. Legal experts say these changes could help keep the streets safe, but only time will tell. In studio, Moses Small, 17 News.